hey, look at that, we're back in the office. This is pretty fantastic. And I had this idea, I want a Cybertruck. Elon Musk released the Cybertruck and it's like a low poly version of someone's cyberpunk dreams. And uh, it's very divisive. A lot of people love it. A lot of people don't love it. But the, my friends over at the Hacksmith, they actually created a half scale version of the Cybertruck. It's made out of metal and welded joints and can do attitude. And you know, they're gonna put their elbow grease behind it and make it go really fast. I'm sure one day they'll add brakes, maybe. We do a lot of 3D printing here though. And if I want my own Cybertruck, I'm gonna have to 3D print one myself. And so this project seems incredible. And I think it's a good idea to feature it here on So the Cybertruck that I'm going to 3D print is from Fab365. You may have remembered that name because those fine people over there create these foldable models. They all print on a, on a print bed and then you take them off the print bed and they fold together and create a myriad of different things. Uh, one of the ones that I featured was a Dalek from Doctor Who. And oh. It was wonderful. So we've got another one. It's a Cybertruck. And uh, well, look, right there. Here, come over. I'll, uh, I'll take you through it. So if you look, uh, the way it works, this is, the, this is on the Zortrax M200. And it's an interesting machine, but it does a really good job. It's preloaded with Z-Ultra material. And if we bring this all the way down, you can kind of see what happens. There's the Fab 365 logo and these pieces that just sort of intersect. And uh, the reason this works is because, well, here, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in right here. Let's see, right, right there. So you can see they're not touching. And as it builds up, it makes a captive joint. So uh, if you look at this little piece right here and this little piece right here, those those build outwards and then come back in and then the joint becomes captive. And so it's not frozen in space because there's clearance between all the pieces. All those pieces then are able to move and bend. It's fantastic. It's a really cool thing that happens. I actually have it ready right there on the Zortrax M200. Let's reconfigure. Let's get the table out. Let's get it off the build plate and let's fold us a Cybertruck. First thing we got to do is, let's see, lift this out. Look at that. There it is. Looks great. But now I got to take this plug off. Ugh. Okay. The Zortrax M200 has a perforated build plate. So as you look at this, I mean, it looks great. It looks great, but it's perforated. So we got to get a, got to get a thing to get it off the build plate. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we got us a table. Here it is. This is the build plate and uh, it's going to be a bear to get this off. Uh, luckily, I've got one of these things. <laughs> one eternity later. <sighs> There we go. And we'll take this and we'll put it on the floor. Now we have a, a model that we have to peel away, peel away, peel away from the raft. And usually the rafts using Z Ultra come apart pretty darn easily. Boy, there's, there's something to be said for controlling the ecosystem. So their slicer, their materials, their machine. Obviously, if you're in your garage tinkering you know, you, you, you have that ability to try different things and find out what, what works best for you. But man, if you're in a production environment, look at that, holy cow, that was freaking simple. Okay, here we go. We are going to now fold this up. Let's see, do all the joints work? Oh, this one's a little, uh, okay, and, oh no, oh no, I broke it. Shoot, it didn't do a good job. And it looks like that one fell out. <laughs> Let's get it back in. Those freed up. And I take back every, dang it. And I take back everything I've ever said about controlling the ecosystem. <laughs> 
this will go here. And then this is supposed to be the bed of the truck. So that, that folds up like so. It goes in, oh, I see it goes into the wheel well. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the wheels spin. Look at that. I got myself a little cyber truck. It was a it was a little difficult to, to put together. Uh, also, there is uh, that goes right up in there. There's a tonneau cover that you can print separately, and it'll go in and move up and down. Uh, again, this is Fab 365's model and I paid just under $5 US to acquire the model. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description if you want to acquire your own model. <clears throat> you know, uh, I, sh I, I sent a picture of this to my producer and he goes, you tested the windows, right? And I was like, what? He said, you know, like Elon Musk at the reveal, he tested the windows. Oh my God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> he said, well, you gotta do that and I said, Okay, let's test the windows. Okay, the, the back, the back of the, or the, the tailgate came off. Okay, let's see, you get back up there. Maybe, I don't know, I could probably glue that into place. There we go, that's in. I guess the, Roof kind of came off. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> but here's the question now. I did this on the Zortrax M200, and as you can tell, it's this sized. Should I go bigger? I thought about, I do have the G Max 2 coming. Uh, I've got the Raise 3D machines. It might be interesting to, to uh, size up this model. What do you think? I'd love to hear your ideas down in the comments. Uh, thanks for coming along with me on this little journey. Uh, it's fun filming back here in the office. Thanks for watching. And if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget, I'm gonna film an after five, after the five, after this. And so if you're a supporter on Patreon or on Float Plane, uh, you'll get to see that. And links for those will be down in the description. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you all. And as always, high five. Hey, Fivers. Oh, my gosh. Um...